What is up guys, Digital VFX here, back again with a very quick but helpful tutorial. Now this is something that I just recently learned that has helped me out tremendously and I've been wanting to know it for a while but never really knew how to do it. But it's essentially how to copy automation from one clip to another. So as you can see here, I have two automation clips with the exact same automation data in there. And what I used to do uh, was kind of like play it by eye and you know you can you can right click and do copy value and paste it in there and that's just extremely tedious so I'm going to show you a very simple and quick way to accomplish this without having to put in each point manually so right here let me just bring that down right here I have two leads uh, kind of like deep house future house leads and um, I want both of them to fade in at the exact same rate and right now I have this house lead one fading in if I mute the second lead and so you can definitely hear that fading in and I want the second lead here to do the exact same thing and what I can do um, right here is the automation clip for that. You're going to double click on here, which will bring up the channel settings. And another way to do it is to click on the corner here and go to channel settings. And it'll bring up this channel settings window, which uh, many of you, I'm sure, are very familiar with. And you're going to click this little drop down up in the top left right here and go to articulator, copy state. So now this just copied the state, all the automation data in this clip right here. And so what I can do now is go to my second lead and what I automated with the first lead was uh, the cutoff frequency of a filter. And so I can find fruity filter right there and right click on create an automation clip. And this just created that automation clip for the cutoff frequency for that filter. Now make it the same size as your other one, however long you want to make your automation clip. And do the same process and go into the channel settings drop down box. And instead of just copy state, you now see paste state there. And you can paste state and as you can see, that just made an exact copy of the automation clip. So now if I give this little clip a play. And so that is a super quick and easy way to copy automation data from one clip to another. And that's pretty much the whole tutorial right there. Like I said, super quick, super easy. And I hope you guys really like this tutorial. It definitely helped me out uh, because, like I said before, I was doing everything manually prior to learning this. And so I bet there's a bunch of people out there who could also benefit from this tutorial and, you know, this quick tip. But if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, this has been a Digital VFX production. Thanks for watching.